In this video, you're gonna learn how to make custom tea towels. Here's what you need. Flower sack cloths, fabric paint, stamps, and a foam brush. Let's get started. When I was brainstorming what to make for DIY Christmas gifts this year, I really wanted to focus on function. I thought to myself, what are the things around the house that we use all the time? I started to pay attention to the things that were getting used over and over. Something that I knew I could definitely make myself is kitchen towels. So I decided to customize some tea towels for Christmas gifts. I used flower sack cloths. I got a pack of 10 from Walmart for about $7. And then I also grabbed some fabric paint from Walmart. When you're setting up your workspace to make these tea towels, be sure you lay something under the towel in case the paint bleeds through. I just used a kitchen trash bag. You can see here that I used a foam brush to paint on the fabric paint onto the stamp. Um, you wanna do light coats of paint onto the stamp. And then when you're done with that stamp, just wipe it off with a baby wipe. You definitely wanna test the stamps out first on one of the tea towels, sort of as a test towel. This will help you see which designs look good when stamped. Some definitely worked better than others. You can see here that I'm choosing to do a variety of different flower stamps on the edge of the towel. I also put in some butterflies there. I really like the way this one turned out. For another design, I also chose to do leaves in sort of a random pattern across the towel. This gave it more of a farmhouse feel. I also did the same thing with butterflies. Both turned out really well. Here's how you can make them another way without stamps for a more modern look. All you really need is the same flower sack cloths, the same fabric paint, and just that foam brush you were using earlier. You don't need stamps for this one. To measure things, I just kind of used the knuckles on my hand. It was really easy. For this one, I'm making an arrow pattern across the towel. All you do is simply dip the foam brush into the fabric paint and then make a mark on the towel. If you're gonna be making your own custom tea towels, you definitely wanna wash and dry your towels first using hot water. They should already be pretty shrunk. This is more of a just in case. Also, be sure to follow the directions on your fabric paint. I think the one that I purchased said I needed to wait at least 72 hours before washing the towels after I had painted them. These tea towels were so much fun to make. They would even be a great DIY gift for the kiddos to help on. My favorite part was customizing them for the different people I made them for. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe below. And for more DIY tutorials, visit makingmanzanita.com.